Hello everyone. In today's test NG video, we are going to cover before and after annotations. So there are four annotations that I am going to cover in this video: before class, after class, before method, after method. So before coming to these annotations implementation, let's discuss the use case of these annotations. Why do we use before and after annotations? So let's understand one by one. So before annotated method used for initialize initializing prerequisite instance like browser launch file object and connection creation database connection initialization so basically when we start our test case so let's say take an example of amazon so first we need to do sign up then login then select some category right so in that case these are our test case part but before uh, writing our test case we need to do some pre configuration like opening the browser then after launching the browser we need to open the url so these are prerequisite so it is not the part of the test case these are the prerequisite so same way the prerequisite comes under before annotated method which is not the part of test case again i am repeating pre condition like launching the browser creating a database connection opening the url these are comes under prerequisite prerequisite or precondition before executing or writing your test case so in that case those steps comes under before annotated methods so that is the first point it is describing so now move to the second one is above step is not a part of the test case but it's a precondition before executing any test case script so that's i already explained what about the after annotation so after annotation method used for closing instance object of a class like open browser open file object and database connection before stopping test ng suit execution to make sure none of the file get corrupted so same way in before annotated method we are initializing uh, uh, browser instance launching browser instance and creating database connection but in after method it is also the post condition once your test case executed then what happen after that so we need to close all the connection like closing the browser closing the database connection that comes under after annotated method so that's the use let's move to the before class annotation implementation so what this before class says the before annotated method will be run before the first test method in the current class is invoked so basically before class annotated method execute first in the class before any test annotated method so let's do an implementation and try to understand so open the eclipse id let's create a new end to end flow so let's name it a smart watch flow so now our class is created so in a smart watch what we are going to do first we will do the sign up then login then select smart watch category so i already written those method in advance so i am copying and pasting it here let's open it so let's import the test ng test annotation so now everything is perfect so you can see there is a sign up method where we are doing a sign up of new user then login then select a smartwatch category add to cart fill shipping details method then make payment order tracking review and rating so these are the end to end flow methods where we have written our test steps so so as we know launching the browser is a prerequisite yeah? means precondition so that could not be inside your test method it's a precondition it's not a test step so for that we need to write a method which is a before annotated because in before annotated method we will launch the browser and open the url so let's uh, let's say i have created the public void before class method 
so method name could be anything i have written a before class for it so i have written a before class name method that could be anything it's a user defined so for better readability i have written before class so now let's annotate before class so control this space so it has imported before class annotation from test engine and now this is our method is annotated with before class so in before class as we discussed so in before class annotated method we mention the prerequisite condition what these prerequisite prerequisite condition could be so let's say these three condition i already written it let's paste it here so the first condition the before class annotation used to initialize prerequisite instance which is not a part of test case so obviously launching the browser and opening the url is not a part of test case it's a precondition so like initialization of browser creating file reader object and database connection etc so before class annotated method execute first in the class so this method will execute first in the class this is our class so this method execute first in the class and then all the test annotated methods will execute which means this will execute first in the class our smartwatch flow class and then after that these test annotated method will execute one by one so now it is clear before class always execute first in the class then only the test annotated method will execute so same way same way after class annotated method close all the connection which is open in a precondition after execution of all the test cases so let's create a after annotated method after class so public void after class so the name of the method could be anything i have written the same name for the readability point of view so what this method do <coughs> it do three things first is after class annotation used to close open instance which is not a part of test case so obviously the browser that we launched in the before class in the precondition and open the browser so after execution of all the test cases we need to close that browser and close the database instance that we are going to use in our test case so those things we need to do post condition so after class is nothing but the post condition so it execute after completion of all the test case execution so same way what it does like closing of browser closing file reader object database connection etc after class annotated method execute last in the class execute last in the class after execution of all the test annotated method so it will execute this block will execute after execution of all the test annotated method so this po uh, the position of class after class method could be anywhere in the class but it will execute automatically right after execution of all the test annotated method so let it be here so i'm saving it let's execute click on execution so now you can see the before class annotated method executed first then sign up login select smartwatch category add apple to the card then fill address detail make payment and then tracking the order status then finally on successful delivery of the product user giving rating and reviews and then after annotated method executed so although we have written at the top of the class here but you can see in the result section it is it executed at the end of the all the test annotated method execution so that is how it works the before class and after class these two annotated method is basically used for precondition as we discussed launching the browser opening the uh, url and then 
opening the creating the database connection same way after class exclude after execution of all the test case and and then closing all the resource that we opened in the precondition so this is how it works so now let's move to other so now let's discuss about before method and after method annotation so let's open the eclipse create a new class this time let's create a new end-to-end -end flow called a smart sam sun watch so that is our end-to-end -end flow for samsung watch so let's copy paste all the method from the sign up login till review and rating so let's copy these methods here so now our end-to-end -end scenario is ready so we need to create a before method annotated class so before method so public void before method is the name of the method so before method what it says before method says let's copy these statement and discuss one by one so before method is also used for precondition let's say launching the browser making the connection of database creating the object uh, for reading and write, uh, writing the file so all these precondition comes under before method so before method annotated method where we write our precondition where we can initialize the browser create the connection of file for read and write operation initializing the database connection for fetching the record from the database so what before method says before method annotated method says execute first before every test annotated method in the class which means it execute before all the test annotated method how it is different from before class before method says I execute every time first before executing any test annotated method which means this before method will execute first then this method will execute test annotated method then again it will execute and again the test annotated method execute then again before annotated method will execute then the test annotated method execute so that way the before method works so in some cases we need to launch all the resource and then execute our test case then close all the resource so in that case the before method and after after method is very handy so same way let's create a after method annotation so public void after method is our method name where we put statement so what these statements are post condition obviously all after method is after annotated method is for post condition so post condition like closing of browser closing file reader object and database connection as extra so how it works after method after method annotation basically execute right after execution of every test annotated method which means this statement the before method will execute first then this test method execute then after method will execute and closing all the resource then again before method will execute then the say second test annotated method will execute and then again after annotated method will execute so which means before and after method will execute before and right after each test annotated method so let's execute and check the output so click on execute now it's executing so let's see the condition so before annotated method executed first then our sign up test case executed then post condition means after annotated method executed then 
precondition which is our before method executed then our test annotated method executed then again post which means after annotated method executed with post condition so this is how it executes before and right after each test annotated method but the important thing that you can see in the result is it's executed eight test case and eight passed but here you can see we have written eight test annotated method and two so here you can see we have written eight test annotated method and two before method and after method so these two method is not included in the result see it is not included in the result only eight showing which means these before and after annotated method always comes under pre and post requisite means precondition and post uh, condition it's not a part of the test case only the things which is considered as a test case is test annotated method so keep remember this thing okay so now both the class is ready one with before class annotated method and one with before method so let's keep these two class entry in the testng.xml let's open the testng.xml and let's do the entry here so class and path of the class which is nothing but the complete package and name of the class so this is my package name copy it here and the class name smart watch flow so smart watch flow same way so same way let's copy this one and paste it here and copy this class name and put it here so now both the class entry is done so save it so now you can see the before class annotated method remember one thing before class annotated method always execute before executing any test annotated method in the class like this like this so and after class after class annotated method always execute all the test annotated method in the class execute first then after class annotation same way so the scope of this before class is basically at this level in the xml so these are the classes so in each class it execute first and then all the test case execute and execution of the test case then after annotated class method will execute so that is the scope of the before class and after class so now let's move to the before method and after method so after before method and after method scope is inside the class at each method level so basically what does it mean it means it's a scope in the class where it's execute first before the test annotated method and after completion of the test annotated method execution after annotated method executes so its a scope is basically in the xml is inside the class and before class and before annotated method scope is inside class stack so now thank you for watching this video do your assignment seriously like hulk in this video so enjoy and please do like and subscribe this channel all right we all have our assignments two stones uptown one stone down stay low keep an eye on the clock Maybe smash a few things along the way.